Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here. And today, I'm going to show you how you can rename not only your user account, but also your user profile folder in Windows 10. I'm using a local account, and you can rename those in the control panel. So I'll press the Windows key and the R key on my keyboard to bring up the Run dialog box, and then type Control Panel and hit Enter. Now, I'll click on User Accounts. And as you can see, the current name for my account is Andrew, but I want to call it Andy, because I'm Handy Andy, right? So I'll just do that, type it in, click Change Name, and there we go, we're all done, right? Well, not so fast. If I go into the Users folder, so in my case, C Users, you can see that my profile folder is still called Andrew. To fix this, we're going to have to rename it from within Windows 10's Hidden Administrator account. To enable this, right-click on the Start menu and click Command Prompt Admin. If a message like this appears, you might need to confirm and enter your password. Then, type the following. Net User Administrator Slash Active Colon Yes After hitting Enter, it should say that the command is completed successfully. Now, when you go into your start menu, you'll see an administrator account has popped up. Log out of your current account and log in to administrator. Once you're in, go into File Explorer, go to See Users again, and now you can just rename your user profile folder. So I'll type Andy in there. Great, but there's still heaps of links in the registry to the old path. So let's fix that, shall we? Now at this stage, I should warn you that registry editing is a very complex operation. It's important that you follow my instructions very closely, otherwise you might wreck up your computer. Now with that out of the way, to open the registry editor, go into the Run dialog box, type regedit and hit enter. When it appears, you'll see on the left hand side a folder called hkLocalMachine. Click on the small arrow to expand it. Then, you'll see a folder called Software, and you want to expand that as well. Scroll down until you see Microsoft, and expand that. Now we'll scroll a really, really long way, all the way down to Windows NT. And then you can see Current Version. And nearly done now, we've just got to find Profile List, and expand that. So we've reached our destination. Under Profile List, there's a lot of folders with very strange names. So go through each of them in turn. What you're looking for is the folder where the profile image path value that you can see on the right hand side there matches the original name of your user profile. See Users Andrew. So let's change it to the new name. Just double click on the value and it'll bring up this box and I'll just Remove Andrew and replace it with Andy. And we're done. Now you can log out of the administrator account and log back into your normal account and everything should be working fine. The last thing you need to do is for security purposes, disable the built-in administrator account. So open a command prompt just like we did earlier and type net user administrator slash active colon no. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Handy Andy and thank you very much for watching.